here tonight. Um, this is an incredibly important election. We have this year seen, and uh, Melissa Melendez, who my colleague who serves in the State Assembly, is your representative right here in Lake Elsmore. As a, as a freshman this year, uh, she has seen history in the making. We have seen four state senators arrested, arrested in our state. People that should be leading have instead been arrested for issues like bribery and money laundering, even uh, the sale of guns from terrorists in the Philippines, you know, right here in our streets in California. And we need to change government. You should be able to trust the people that represent you, and you should believe that they have your best interest when it comes to jobs, the economy, educating your kids, rebuilding our state and our economy. And uh, this year in Riverside County, we have an opportunity to get a new member of the Senate. This is a newly drawn district and to have a partner with Melissa to address the challenges that we have in the state. If you've been um, unemployed over the last couple of years, you know that you're not back 100%. You're either working two part-time jobs, you downsize your house, you're living on your mother's couch, or you're hoping for the next great opportunity. If you're a senior citizen, you're wondering if you're gonna outlive your money. If you uh, have moved healthcare plans, you see that your healthcare costs have gone up over the last couple of months, and stay tuned, because you're looking at at least a 12% to 24% increase in your premiums. So there are a lot of challenges ahead. The middle class in California is disappearing. We need to rebuild that. Kids that are my kids' age, like the two waiters, the staff that you have here, my kids are that age, and my daughter's 29. She still can't buy a house. My son is 26. He still can't go to school full time. That should not be. Our kids should not be indentured servants into their 40s or 50s because that will really indicate how our economy grows. So this year, I need your help. I need your vote. I need you to tell your neighbors. I need you to help us make phone calls, knock on doors, you know, challenge your friends to show up. It's horrible when 22% of our community shows up on election day and 73% stay home. It's shameful, ladies. It's taken us more than 120 years to get our right to vote and we don't show up on election day. So if you're registered to vote and you are busy because you have kids, you're working a full-time job, going to school, whatever you're doing, register to vote absentee. I have staff here that will take care of you tonight. And when you go to the polls this year, vote Bonnie Garcia, vote Melissa Melendez. You need smart women at the forefront of government. So thank you. And uh, let me turn it over to Melissa. Well, I am not going to be speaking tonight, but I will on Bonnie's behalf. This isn't about me. This is about Bonnie. Um, she has experience in the state legislature. She was in the assembly for six years. So she, this is not her first rodeo. She knows how things work up there. Um, and she knows how to get things done. She was very successful when she was in the assembly. So now we have an opportunity for this seat to go to someone who, who is raising children here, who understands what it feels like to have to, uh, you know, tighten that budget up a little bit. Um, and she understands the dynamics of how you're able to get things done. Um, when you're working in politics, it is not easy, I will tell you. So. She's not just a friend, um, she's, I respect her tremendously. I've spoken with people that she has met with, she didn't know this, um, but I have met and spoken with the people that she has had meetings with, and they have all said how impressed they were that she was very real, very honest, but, but seemed to be very um, confident that she could get the job, jet, job done, and therefore they felt you know, they could give their confidence to her. That's important. Some people, you know, you kind of know that you're, you're getting sort of uh, the business when they're talking to you. And other people, you just feel it, right? You, we can sense whether someone's genuine or not. Uh, and that's what I sensed in Bonnie from the first time I met her. Um, so I hope you'll give her your support in any way you can. She does need your help in making phone calls and walking precincts. And she also needs your money if you'd like to give it to her. She won't say it, but I will. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you everyone for being here tonight. And I know Bonnie's going to answer any of the questions that you have, but I'm telling you, she's a rock star. Yeah,